Hi, I'm Dr. Larry Klein. I'm a dentist here in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we're going to talk a little bit about mouth injuries. There's all different types of mouth injuries. There's that related to the teeth and that also just to the mouth in general. Uh, a couple things that come to mind as far as mouth injuries. Oh, simple things. Uh, too hot of food. Uh, pizza burn. Burning your mouth on uh, uh, hot coffee. Things like that. Uh, pretty easy solutions. Take it slow. Cool things off. Uh, other mouth injuries have been uh, trauma, uh, a dog, uh, a cat, you get scratched, you get poked. Um, we had one incident where a small child was running with a sharp object in their mouth, fell. It was almost a, a fatal, a fatal a, a type of thing. Um, also, injuries in the mouth involve a lot with the teeth. And of course, probably the most of those are involved with sports injuries. A simple uh, mouth guard is a great thing to prevent that. Uh, football injuries, basketball injuries, karate, boxing, any of those type of uh, physical contact sports. Um, if you do have something like that, let's say a tooth gets bumped, gets uh, hit, uh, the body is wonderful about healing it up, but times it needs to be taken care of by a dentist, uh, if the tooth is, is wobbly, if it's uh, wiggly, uh, has some mobility to it, definitely needs some uh, dental attention. If the tooth gets knocked all the way out, a simple solution, uh, take the tooth, rinse it off with some milk, bring it immediately to the dentist. With, if they can have it within 45 minutes, a lot of times that can be reimplanted without any, any problems uh, in the future. Some of the traumas to, to the mouth um, can be prevented, obviously, by a mouth guard or a night guard. Um, but those things that you can't, uh, sometimes you just have to be careful. Probably the biggest problem I'll have with uh, shattered teeth can be simply a person drinking water from a water fountain or from a, in a bar, somebody hits the, the person's elbow and it ends up hitting the glass on the tooth. So a lot of times it's just a matter of being careful. So for those things that you can't wear a mouth guard for, just really be careful. If you have any questions about things like that, feel free to give me a call. I'm Larry Klein. I'm here in St. Petersburg, Florida.